So, you want to build an arcade, but not entirely sure where to start? Then you have come to the right place. With inspiration taken from existing cabinets, I've put together a kit for you to build your own awesome looking arcade. After weeks of modeling and testing, it's now ready for you. In the project folder, you'll find everything you need, starting with the parts to source list. The parts you choose will determine the look of your arcade. The whole project is available at MakerWorld, print files, build instructions, etc. The 3MF project contains all parts pre-arranged and ready to print. Based on your design choices, drag the correct variant from the parts on the right onto its designated empty plate. If that sounds confusing, don't worry, it's clearly documented in the project folder. STL files are available in the folder for you to cut and arrange as you wish. I cut small filament pieces to act as guides when gluing the parts together. A strong two-part adhesive is key to success. Post-processing is where the magic happens. Your results will mirror your effort. I choose to print all visible parts in ABS as it's easy to sand. To hide fine sanding scratches, I use a high build filler primer on all parts. Then it's back to sanding, this time with 400 grit paper. I finish with an 800 grit wet sand. All the prototyping and test prints have left me with a small fleet of arcade cabinets for family, friends and the office. This one is for my youngest daughter to enjoy with her friends. A few varnish coats add durability and protect the surface from scuffs and wear. Time for assembly. Grab the build instructions from the project folder and read them through before you begin. I use super glue for the pins and a slow drying epoxy for the rest. While the glue cures, temporarily fit the bottom part to keep the cabinet square. Here I'm using American style arcade buttons. Other types work too, as long as they fit the 28mm holes which is standard. Keep a variety of self-tapping screws on hand for mounting everything inside the cabin.
check the build instructions in the project folder. The wiring diagram shows how everything is connected. Grab your crimping tool, soldering station and wire cutters. It's time to put it all together. All wired up, connected and neatly cable tied. For the volume pot, I use a standard TRS cable. Cut it in half, strip the wires, join left and right and tin the joint. Twist the two grounds together into one lid. It's now ready to solder to the pot. Now, let's close it up. Lights are on. Final touch, I'm cutting button decals on my Cricut. Decal templates are available in the project folder. If you want to support me, head over to Patreon. Here I keep my projects alive with exclusive content in form of optional builds and more. And yes, my daughter was over the moon. Please, don't forget to like and subscribe.